They just won't do it. I don't. I don't have a problem with it, man. And I was. I was watching. Uh, you know, Malcolm X's old ballad of the Bullet speech, mm -hmm. and it actually saddens me that fifty years later we're having the same exact conversation. Like Malcolm. Yeah. Malcolm was like, "Demand something of your vote." You know yeah. what I'm saying? Simple as that. Malcolm was like, you know, you you, you put the, you put these Democrats in the office, and they do nothing for you. They do nothing for your communities. And well, what's so, what's so crazy then is um, at that time, I don't know what year that speech was, but di but black people overall um, didn't flock to the Democratic Party until about 55 years ago, right? And so um, it hasn't always been that way. But rest assured that the same thing applied to the Republican Party back then. There has never been an entity, a corporation, a political system, a party, um, what else can I name, an organization that's that has ever, exactly, that ever. And so we're saying across the board, institutional racism um, and oppressive systems are real. And until Black people are able to thoroughly um, get engaged and be entrenched in those systems, they're going to always be that way. And we will have to make demands on the outside. So the question I'm doing, and yeah, I'm going to require I mean, something of this candidate. I think that um, I've been telling y'all to vote. All for, these candidates. I've been telling y'all vote your interests. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, vote for the issues that pertain to you. You know, um, Dan, did we freeze again? No, you froze again, but I'm I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Is your thing froze? I can look and see if it froze on 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 the other phone. Look and see if uh, it froze. I, I, you need to probably go out and come back in. What do you mean, go out and come back in? Look at Mayor Pete Douglas playing. My my two personal favorites were Elizabeth Warren's. Elizabeth Warren had one. I didn't like Elizabeth though. But Elizabeth but Warren's was detailed. The problem with with the Greenwood Initiative is it really was just a list. It was an exhaustive list, but not very prescriptive around policy. Listen, he told us what he was going to do. Yeah, you I don't know. know. I just, it just felt like a laundry list to me. I'm not opposing it because it's still light years better than what Biden has right now. And the other thing I would tell you is Kamala Harris had a plan. Um, Julian Castro had a plan. I don't know if Beto, was Beto in the race long enough to have had a plan? But is I know Beto, that he's about that he life. Still, does he still exist? Yeah, he still exists. I don't hear that name at all. Yeah, that's a good dude, man. I heard he got an OnlyFans page. He has a what? An OnlyFans page. I heard Beto O'Rourke got an OnlyFans page. Page. What does that mean? You got an OnlyFans page. You don't know what OnlyFans is? No. Oh, Google OnlyFans. No. Go down the D. <laughs> no, I don't know what that go is. Down. Whatever it is, it's not going to be good that you're telling me to do it. And you just laugh, I'm definitely not doing it. Somebody, That's a promo. You know, I want to, uh, J. Espinita says, losing respect for you or both. I agree we need a plan, but damn it, you will be responsible if this fool gets back in office for a second term. No, we won't. No, we won't. You know, because you, you know, know, you know, you know responsible? You know, you know, Joe Biden's whack ass campaign. Like, yes, right? Absolutely. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. <laughs> Let's be really clear. Joe Biden, right now, if the election was held today, would Joe Biden win the election? No. no. And it wouldn't have to do, it would have nothing to do with no goddamn Diddy. Nothing. And, and that's what I want to be clear about. Like, you guys, we're not trying to push you to stay at home. We're not trying to push you to vote for Trump. I'm not going to speak for Leonard. I'm not. I don't think that's what he's doing. But like at the end why of the, the day, why would I want somebody to vote for Trump? Huh? Why would I want somebody to vote for Trump? I don't. I don't think that that's what you're saying. But I'm giving you the opportunity to speak for yourself. The only point that I'm raising is, think more highly of yourself than to compromise everything to give Word it up. all away for nothing. That's not Word even up. like Lenard. Tell me the last contract you signed 
and whether or not you were like, oh, this is perfect, just because it is, I'll take it. I told, you negotiate. I, 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 I told, I told, I, that, that's the way I have been explaining it to people in the music industry. Like people Your in the music needs industry. To make that bitch. Sorry, people, in, people in the music industry that, that was having uh, conversations with me about this last night, this is how I was wording it to them. I was saying, look, when you walk into these record labels, you negotiate. Mm -hmm. right yeah you negotiate you have the leverage right and so you negotiate a deal with this uh label that you plan to sign to mm -hmm. we should treat our votes the same exact yes. way okay all right you know you want to vote for joe biden cool Bo biden joe biden guess what needs your vote so now you come up with a list of demands and say yes. hey this is what i want this is what i would like to have yeah cool simple as that by the way every Every other group is doing it. When y'all get off this live, when y'all get off this live, I want y'all to just go simply Google young progressives demands to Biden. Period. It's like, it's like 15 articles of these seven different groups, all little like little young Parkland kids, all yes. the kids that were supporting Bernie. Yes. They didn't, just, they didn't just say, fuck it, we not gonna vote because you know Bernie's not in the campaign. They said, Joe, this is what we want. If and you meet our demands, me if you meet our demands, you will earn our votes. Simple. To me, the thing that is frustrating to me is like watching the response to people about like, well, it's Biden or Trump. What do we do then? I understand you feel in that catch 22. The response to that is to go to Biden and make the demands. You guys, he still doesn't have everything that it primaries, but can he drive out the turnout numbers in November? And what we're submitting to you is that it, de it largely depends on what he does for black people. Because right now, Joe Biden by himself is not going to energize the base. For those of you who say that that's not sufficient and we need to stop trying to fall in love and we need to, you know, and we need to get over being excited, that, that's cool for us. But for, for some of us, our little brothers and sisters, and hell, even some of our elders, they, elders, they do need to be energized. And that is just the bottom line. We have to figure out a way to do that. One of the best ways to do that is to negotiate things that are in our interest. That is what we're suggesting. So the fact that you're too scared to have that conversation ain't on us. We would suggest, at least, well, I'll say I suggest. I suggest that you find um, some nuts. Yeah, Kina Poo, Kina Poo says, change how y'all are messaging it. I don't know. Change it how? how? I, no, I, 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 I want to push back on this. Change your vote. You should get something for your vote. Your vote okay, is free. okay, okay. Let me, uh, nigger, niggers. Let me tell you this, Keena. Okay, oh listen, niggers. What are you doing? You don't fuck for free. You don't like to work for free. So why the fuck you voting for free? You see that? See how that ended? Okay. That ended up? What are you? What are you doing? Okay. It's just simple. It's it's just simple. Like it's just, just simple common sense. All I'm asking is that you ask for something. Just get, ask for something in return. We're again we're to the point about uh, not being uh, not being in love and not being energized, and that's not, not cool. What about being transactional? Because that's the other thing that Pep said. Is there anything wrong with demand should come after the election? That has this never want, worked. Cara, for us. No, no, Cara, no. This, 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 Cara, this is what I want you to do from now on, Kara. Whenever you get presented with a contract. Sign it first and then try to negotiate with the person you just signed it with. That's what I want you to do from now on, Kara. I don't know if that was a guy or girl. But next time you 